all makeup and skincare trends, they come and go. But using the ones that are best suited to your skin is the way to go, whether you're in your 20s or your 50s. Or 70s. <laughs> and here with some skincare and makeup suggestions for ladies is new beauty contributing editor Sarah Eckenberger. Hi. Get that right, Sarah? You got it right. Yes, Our we names. practice. We practice. <laughs> yes, so yes. We, we're going to do this by the decade. Yeah, we are. 20s, 30s, and beyond. Yeah. Let's we're start in, with the 20s. Okay, so in your 20s, you might be battling breakouts, right? That's the time when your cell turnover is at its peak, which mm -hmm. is great. Sure. Um, but because you're going to be balancing out your skin, you need to use products that are going to help to really balance the oil. You don't want to overstrip your skin right. because then you send your oil glands into overdrive. Okay. So you want to be good to your skin. What, what, so it's like what, what, a good balance. You have to find a good balance there. Exactly. Right? Exactly. But if you, if, you, if you overstrip and they go into overdrive, then you break out more. Exactly. Totally counterproductive. Right, then. right. So that's why I need to find that balance and mm. be kind to your skin. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Brandt's Pore No More Cleanser is an amazing product because it will definitely clear away any oil and debris. And then salicylic acid works behind the scenes to get rid of your breakouts. Yes, that's so good stuff. That's where it gets yes. you in. And then I know it's very simple and it's basic and it's out there, but sunscreen. It's so important in your 20s to start using sunscreen, yeah. mm -hmm. especially a high level. SkinCeuticals UV Defense SPF 50 is an amazing product because it wears great underneath makeup, and so you don't have to skip out. You can use it. You have no excuse not They're to use your sunscreen. Mm -hmm. They're a fabulous line. Mm -hmm. And then we have a little bit of a lip gloss here. So right. So then when you're going into your makeup, in your 20s, you can have a lot of fun with makeup. You can do the smoky eye, but you want to pair that with more of a neutral lip. Okay. So use like your fresh lip colors, but Mally has these beautiful high shine lip glosses that you're going to get that nice shine to lips so you can have that youthful sophistication and a little edge to Yeah, you don't makeup. look like a corpse. You know, some people go right. with the nude to too much, and you have to have a little bit of color in there. Exactly. So a little bit of shine. Let's okay. go into the 30s now. Yes. So now in your 30s. So you're just starting to have that initial signs of aging in your 30s, right? It's what just are you saying, Sarah? Um, <laughs> not you, no, of course. I'm you're kidding. stunning. No, I'm <laughs> So this is Garnier. Yeah, this is Garnier, and you're also going to know some of your sunspots. So in your 20s, if you don't wear sunscreen, you start to notice those sunspots starting to come out. Mm -hmm. So this is Garnier's vitamin C. It contains 5% ascorbic acid, and it's going to help to get rid of that hyper pigmentation, those sunspots, and then also ward away them for the future. And ascorbic acid is a must for everyone's skincare program from your 30s on. Is ascorbic? This ascorbic, vitamin C. Is this wow. something, let me ask, when would you apply this? At night or in the morning before you put on your makeup? In the morning before you put your makeup on, because okay. it will also help to protect your skin against UV rays. So think of it as your morning breakfast for your skin. There you go. What and about makeup? Yeah. So makeup, you just want to have that fresh glow to your skin that you just went for a run, you're really healthy. Or and a so, romp in the bedroom. Or that too. Well, so apparently it works. <laughs> Living proof. No, but so use Tarte. It's a 12-hour Amazonian clay blush. Tarte? And just as the name suggests, yes, Tarte makeup, <laughs> it will give you that fresh look. It is a great color, too, and it looks great for um, every skin tone. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. It's, it blends really well, and as the name suggests, it stays on all day long. Okay, well, the 40s, all right, let's talk about them. They could be around the corner for yeah, many people, so uh, what, what should we do in our 40s? So in your 40s, you start to notice that lack of collagen, the skin structure, and you find it in your decollete. So men have chest, women have decolletes. Okay. And on your decollete, it might start to show some of that fine lines and wrinkling, and it's starting to morph into more deeper wrinkles. Yes. John, check your cleavage. <laughs> uh -huh. So Yanka has an advanced gel lift, which is just going to help to plump up the skin and that collagen boost. Okay, and that's wh where do we apply this to the deck? Right, right there. And right okay. there. Yes. And then what do we have here for the makeup area? Well, in we makeup and hair care, do you notice like in your 40s, people start to lose their shine in their hair? So not only does your skin age, but also your hair really? can age. Really? Okay. And so you start to have a little bit of that lackluster look to your hair. So a great way you can do it is to add a protein-rich diet, so mm -hmm. that will help to increase the volume of your hair. But way that you can cheat is to use Moroccan Glimmer Shine. And this just impacts like this megawatt shine to your hair that's going to give you a really healthy look. Sounds good to me. Yes. What about the eyes? So now we're moving into our 50s. Okay, yeah, let's talk about the 50s because people, you know what, I, I will say, there are many women in their 50s now who are doing it so well, and they right. look fantastic. Absolutely. So what do they use? So in your 50s, you do want to kind of focus on that eye area mm -hmm. as well. And for your makeup, you can use a concealer. Not every concealer is created equal. It Cosmetics contains vitamin A, C, E, and K, and it covers everything. It's an amazing concealer. A little bit goes a long way. It's very creamy for being as rich as it, as it is. And then you also, you're going to start to notice a little bit of your brows become a little more sparse. You know, okay. your hair is a little bit more fine. Right. So Revita Brow has this amazing product that helps to give you that iconic eyebrow look. Yes. And it fills it in. And then for right now, you can do a cheat is to use the Lancome pencils that come in six different shades. It just fills it in and helps to give you that look that's going to just 
define your brows and your eyes. Wouldn't you suggest to go, uh, would you suggest for people to go a little bit lighter on their brows or darker on their brows to be, if they're in in between color? If they're in between, it depends on the look they're trying to achieve. The darker brow will frame the face a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But if they have sparse brows, you probably want to go a little bit lighter. Like a neutral, like, like a, a neutral. Yes, or yeah. a taupe kind exactly, of Exactly. Okay. So it doesn't look like you penciled in your eyebrows. Yeah, you don't want to have that surprised. I always say it, the chola look, you know? No. It's like, you don't want to be like chola. painting on the no, eyebrows. But these are beautiful. These are really great uh, liners from Lancome. Yeah, yeah, they're beautiful, and they give you that very natural look, too. Wonderful. Without... And for so dudes, much. just baby oil through the ages. Thank you. <laughs> uh, baby. You are good to go. Well, thank you, Sarah Eckenberger. We thank appreciate you. you being here. And if you'd like to watch this segment and much more, just log on to our website, wlnytv.com slash the couch. Or thank check you. out thank New you. Beauty. That's right. New check beauty. out New Beauty. Summer Looks fall great. 2013. Yes. Yeah.